Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's December and Christmas is very nearly upon us. Therefore, the risk of being taken advantage of by criminals and getting scammed is unfortunately quite high. So I thought it would be a good idea to create a video discussing what you can do if you have been a victim of a scam. Although you can, of course, get scammed at any time of year, Christmas time is pretty much when you're most likely to be scammed, whether that be through counterfeit children's toys, charity fraud, fake job advertisements, or even giveaway scams. There's definitely a scam for everything. So with all that being said, let's get stuck into some advice and tips for if you've been the victim of a scam. The ways you must protect yourself after you've been scammed are divided into three categories. The first being that you must protect yourself from further scams. The second is if you've had any money taken from you, then you need to check to see if you're able to get that money back. And thirdly, you need to report the scam. Firstly, let's discuss protecting yourself from further scams. What you need to do in this situation depends entirely on what sort of scam you have fallen victim to. But generally, you should be doing things like changing any passwords that may have been compromised, removing any applications that scammers have asked you to put onto your device, block any phone numbers that seem suspicious, check your antivirus software to see if the scammer has infected your device with a virus, and activate extra security measures like two-step verification if it isn't already active. Depending on your situation, you may also need or want to contact the police about the scam, which you can do so by dialing 101 here in the United Kingdom. And of course, if you feel threatened, if you've been physically assaulted, or you just feel very unsafe due to a scammer, then dial 999. You can also check if your information has been leaked on the dark web through using things like online dark web scanners. These are helpful because you can see which details of yours have been leaked and what information you should change in order to protect yourself. Unfortunately though, dark web scanners can only tell us if our information has been leaked. It cannot tell us if our information has been or is being used. You should also, of course, contact your bank immediately to inform them of the scam and to see if you will be able to get any lost money back. It's also always useful the days following the scam to keep an eye out for any transactions that you don't recognise and also keep an eye out in general for any unusual activity on your account. Many banking apps actually allow you to lock or freeze your bank card from the app. This feature may come in handy for you depending on the type of scam you've fallen victim to. Your bank may do things like send you a new bank card, change your PIN and also they may be able to help you get your money back amongst other things that they can help you with too. Finally, you can report the scam. The UK's reporting centre for fraud is called Action Fraud. You can report the scam by phoning them or filling out an online form. The telephone number for Action Fraud is 0300 123 You can also report postal scams through Royal Mail and they will investigate them for you. And you can also report scam emails by forwarding the scam email to report at phishing.gov.uk. You can also report scams to Citizens Advice as well. So with all this being said, I hope that today's video was useful and I hope that everyone stays safe and has a wonderful festive season. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.